Good morning, everybody. Chuck here and brought you up KittyCon. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on next. Really just kind of clarify some things and some reasoning why we're going to do this next move. I've got a lot of feedback from our audience and I really appreciate it, but I think there's some confusion on what's going to happen. So I'm just going to spend this next couple of minutes trying to explain what's going on. So yes, mom is going to move to Nacompanom. No, mom's not going to go move in with my in-laws. That's not the plan. Uh, never was the plan. We, uh, we never thought that mom would want to live in Tapanom. I'm, uh, I'm good there for like 10 days and then we're ready to go ourselves. Nacompanom, as I've said in many, many videos, that is one of the probably my most favorite cities in Thailand. Uh, it's on the beautiful Mekong River. A lot to see there. Uh, a lot more shopping there than there is here in Pachua Um But we're going to be making the move here probably really soon here and probably in about four weeks uh, we should be able to transport mom down there. First off she's going to be about 50 minutes, I think, closer to me uh, in Tapanom so I can get there pretty quick if she needs to go shopping or we just need to hang out and make some eggs or something, you know, I'll be, I'll be pretty close. But um, not something I really want to do at nighttime, but I can get there pretty fast. And I do spend a lot of time in Nacompanom, whether it's bike riding or playing golf with my friends or, or whatever. But that's probably one of the most reasons why is because I'm going to have her close close to me. Mom wanted to be in Prad Chuap because she wanted she really loved the atmosphere here. It wasn't mostly like she knew she was just going to find a bunch of friends and get along with people. My mom really does like to kind of be by herself a little bit, but she loved the ocean, but she's she only went to the to the ocean like twice. <laughs> so she doesn't she doesn't really she doesn't really get out much, but in the Kompanam it does have a beautiful river. So let me talk to you a little bit about some of the benefits in the Kompanom that I think is going to be valuable to mom. So the shopping is good. They have a huge big C. They have a huge global house, um, macro, uh, low dust. They've got a lot of, they got two DI, Mr. DIY stores. That's my mom's favorite place. And a lot of a lot of restaurants there that cater to Falang. So, well, I should say not really cater to Falang. They have a lot of Falang food. I would say there's a lot more foreigners in the Kompanom than there are in Prachua. They just uh, kind of spread out. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? But a lot of the Thai people, especially the younger generation there, they speak probably more English than they do here in, in this area. But the hospitals there in the Kompanom were a lot better and they're, they're building a private hospital as well. And the place that she's going to be living at is one of those places that is, you're not gonna find. It's on the river and it's gonna be a nice cool breeze. Washing machine. There we are. I've showed this before. Oh, it looks a lot nicer now. Very good. Nice. Pretty good sized kitchen. Let's look at the patio area. Nice place to sit out here, enjoy the ambiance. Of 
course, got to maybe sit out here with a fan, listen to the chickens. <laughs> But this all comes just the way it is, so. Nice bathroom. Mom doesn't want to do a lot of walking because of the heat here. It is hot and brought you up. And uh, she doesn't want to sit in the house in the air condition. She wants to get out and exercise, but sometimes the heat is too unbearable here. But on the Mekong River, it's nice and cool. Uh, the house that we are going to rent for mom actually never had an air conditioned unit and has a tenant in it, has had a tenant in there for quite a while. Uh, but we're gonna put an air conditioned unit in the bedroom for mom because I don't like to sleep without air conditioning either. So we're gonna have air conditioning installed. It's on a lower level, so I'm having a nice uh, stainless steel, about a four meter high, I think it's four meters um, railing put in and uh, the stairwell is not like Thai style this thing was built by my friend Dunn who speaks pretty good English uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. that's beautiful Dunn Dunn you should keep your hair like that all oh, like, oh it's beautiful I really you really like it, it. You yeah. do what I do, but... yeah maybe shaded like maybe pink one time yeah. so. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we're sitting out here. She got actually. I thought she just did that for all of her customers, but <laughs> no, for you, special for you, Shaq. <laughs> Where are we gonna eat tonight? Oh, so we go to um, what you like. Oh, I, so we go to Vietnamese. I just follow you. Okay. Yeah, we Vietnamese to, is good. Yes. I like it. Yeah. We go new one. Vietnamese okay. new one. Very good. I told everybody if you. That, they like Vietnamese food in the Kompanom. It's very, yeah. very good Vietnamese very good. food. So, yeah, we're going to go run for it. But um, she's going to have the rail installed. And I told her, whatever we need to do to make it right, I'll, I'll pay for that. But the Kompanom is, is definitely a beautiful place. A lot more options for her. There's an airport there. We can fly to Bangkok in 45 minutes and get to the ocean in a couple of hours. So... Uh, Prachup doesn't have that. Prachup has a train station and it does have a bus, an area where buses are at that you can get on, but I don't know. There's just not much to offer mom in this in this town. So we're going to get rid of her Kiat. I've kind of been going back and forth on that, but I think really it's it's time to part ways with that. But in, in the Kompanom, she'll have plenty of access to uh, tuk-tuks, taxis, grab. Uh, there's not going to be a problem. There's a gym. She wants to go to the gym here, but she can't access it because she can't get to the other side of the of the bridge on her on her Kiat, and she doesn't want to constantly bother the taxis because what they are is like a Salang. It's the motorbike with the little carrier on the side. There's no grab here, and there's no taxis, so you're limited to what you can get as far as as far as help with with transportation. So it is available, but it's limited. So there's a gym two, I think it's like 2.2 kilometers from her house. Also, they're on the wall, and it's got a beautiful walking path and a beautiful bicycle path. But at the end of that bicycle path is aerobics, uh, a lot of exercising, a lot of activities for people that are, you know, my mother's age. And I'm sure they would love to have her join them but I'm hoping my mom gets in good enough shape that uh, she's able to ride like a two-wheel bike I, I think that's possible we got her three-wheel bike that we're fixing to get out here pretty soon and, um, and do some exercise on that anyway this is there's a lot of reasons why I think that this is a good place for her right down the street not even a kilometer is a German restaurant now she loves to eat at the German restaurant here 
but there's one there that probably has a lot more, well, I know it has a lot more on the menu than, than, than the one here in Prachuap. So that's gonna be a plus for her. Plus I think Dunn, my friend who owns the building is gonna reopen her restaurant. That's how I met her. Believe it or not, I was on a hunt for a hamburger one day and uh, that popped up and I went in there and I said, hey, do you guys have hamburgers? And she spoke perfect English and I was like, very good, and she made me a really, really good hamburger, but she cooks excellent, like Italian food. She cooks all kind of food really good, so I think she's gonna open up the restaurant, but that's gonna be an asset to mom because she speaks good. She lived in, in uh, the UK for 30-something years, so I think she's more uh, British than she is Thai. But her neighbor right next to her that has already rented the house for three years is gonna be arriving in September. I have met her. She is the same as Dunn, uh, a little bit lower key, but she speaks perfect English too, and she lives in England, but she doesn't wanna stay here full time. So she goes back and forth, but she's my mom's age. And uh, I think that'll be an asset to mom too. We've had a, we've had a long winter here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cold. In here, hot only April. Yeah. And it is April, but it's nice. This right one, now. Uh, the old lady from England, she pay whole year. Oh. She coming to stay only six months. She comes September right to March. Oh, okay. So. Very nice. She very nice. So when she nearly coming, so I can clean and do it for mm. her. But this one I love down here, quiet. Yeah. And big, not small one. Do right. you know what I mean? Can you mind okay. down here? I know. But I my a lot of the problem here is that a lot of the people, they, you know, she has some wonderful friends here in Prachua, but everybody has their own routine and things that they like to do. And, you know, my mom doesn't really want to run around sometimes, so. Uh, I'm just clarifying a lot of things on this video because a lot of people had some concerns uh, with her next move and some questions and some suggestions. So I'll tell you this, that things, you know, so they don't always work out, but we, you know, we'll make adjustments on the way. I think in many reasons, and I wanted her to move to Prachua, I mean, I'm sorry, I wanted her to move to Nekong Panom a long time ago. I've said it many times uh that I think that this would be a good spot for her. But, um, you know, there's a lot of reasons we can't really talk about on the internet why mom doesn't want to be here in Prachuap. You know, I just want her to be in a happy, healthy environment, and I would love to have her closer to me, when, especially when we're not traveling. Uh, I'll be, which we won't be traveling probably for a while um, till, she's, till she's healthy. But having her close to me is going to be an asset and I know she's going to be real I know she's happy about that there's no doubt so but that's about it I just wanted to clarify a couple of things we are moving to Nokomponom Nokomponom to me is a hundred times better than Prague Chuap um, and if you want to go to an island for a couple of weeks we just go hop on a plane and, and we can do that or I can drive mom to Gotchang and uh, get her a little bungalow for a couple of weeks if she's uh you know, if she's fiending for the ocean, but in the Komponom, she'll have a better opportunity to become healthy. Uh, walking path, actually the walking path, when she walks out her door, there's a house next to her. She just walks past that. And that's the entrance to the uh, bicycle walking path. And um, yeah, she has no excuses. She can sit on her patio. Her patio is actually pretty, it's really big. And you can see everybody walking at nighttime on the path, but it's overlooking the water. And it's all gated and closed in, so it's very secure. And, you know, she can put her tropical plants out there, put a nice little table, a fan, and uh, just get outside more instead of staying here in the cave. <laughs> I just feel sometimes when I come in here that it's just so closed in. And we wish this place had more windows, but they built it too close to the easement. 
And when they did that, they had to get authorization from the neighbor to put a, a, a window in because it was too close. So they didn't put a window in. I wish they would have put at least some glass bricks in here, but um, the people who own this place in Front Shop are friends of mine and Paige's, and they're very good people. My mom's lease is actually gonna be up in a few, in a couple of months. So she's been here a year. We were thinking she would be here at least five, <laughs> but uh, it is it, it just happened that way. So um, we don't need to settle in here. We are pretty flexible. We didn't buy this place, so we don't really have any investment loss. I did put a big porch on the front, but you know, I'll take my losses on that and we'll just keep on going. She got a pretty good deal for the rent and I'm pretty happy with what she's gonna be paying on the next place, which once we get that really figured out, I'll let you guys know later, but bear with us. I know a lot of people are concerned with mom and I think that, um, a lot of times the stuff that you see on the internet is probably on most YouTube, like you don't see everything. You don't see what's going on behind the scenes a lot of times. And a lot of times we make choices um, on moving or, or traveling kind of based on stuff that you probably you don't, we, we can't really show you on the internet. So all that being said, be patient with us. Everything's going to be good. Mom is happy. Mom's actually excited about it. Of course, I asked my mom um, what she wanted to do ultimately. You know, it's ultimately her decision. She definitely does not want to go back to the United States. A couple of people had said that. Um, and I have really sat down and had a serious conversation about whether she wants to do that, do that or not. So, but that's not something that really makes sense right now in our lives. And uh, we're gonna make a correction and we're gonna do it. So bear with us guys, it's gonna happen pretty soon. We gotta first and foremost get mom healthy, uh, however long that takes. And uh, she's on the path to success and I'm really amazed at how much she's progressed here in the past few days. So anyway, yeah, that's what's happening. I need another story. Just clapping your hands above your head. Something to get off my chest. My life is kind of boring. Need something that I can't confess. So all my sleeves are stained red. From all the truth that I've said. Combine it honestly, I swear. Thought you saw me wink, no, I've been on no brink. So tell me what you want to be. Something that will like those years. Sick of all the insincere I'm gonna give all my secrets away This time Don't need another perfect lie Care critics have a jumping line I'm gonna give all my secrets away My God Is it now we got this far? It's like we're chasing all those stars Who's driving shiny big black cars? Oh. Two more, and next leg nine. I see the news, all the problems that we can solve, and then a situation rises, just ride it into an album, send it straight One more. to the But I don't really like my flow, no, so tell me what you want to hear. Something that will like those ears. I'm sick of all the insincere. I'm gonna give all my secrets away. This time, we don't need another perfect. Here, critics have a jump in line. Okay. Oh, perfect. Great show. You deserve a raise. So we're going to go to the store. Good morning. Good morning. How's Paige? Good. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go leave mom here for just about an hour. Go into the. I need to get a couple of boxes. Paige has to get something. And uh, maybe some bubble wrap for mom to wrap her up in bubble wrap so she don't fall. Mm -hmm. I need bubble wrap to, for, to pack some stuff. Yeah. Well, they have bubble wrap and they got tape, but these boxes are too small. I know they got a million boxes at Macro, like 
for unpacking, but I'm not gonna go over there and try to ask. Maybe we'll drive around the back and see if there's some out back or something. But I just assume they're like a package for five for like a hundred five or something. You know, as far as the transportation stuff for mom, I got I got some time to think about it. I'm still, you know, I'm not a hundred percent sure I want to get rid of the cart, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to bring it. I mean, it's got a nice little bicycle path, but if she goes over the edge, then it's going to be a problem, you know, or hit some kind of bump. And so anyway, I know she'll have plenty of tuk-tuk drivers to show for her around. But hopefully that works. I think that's a better plan. And if it doesn't, we'll make a correction later. Either way, I'm real close to her, so it's going to be much better. I'm the only the only thing I'm not quite sure about is the transportation. But Dunn, the owner of the place, and, and the page and mafia says it's no problem. She'll have a driver whenever she needs it. So we'll see. When you depend on people, sometimes you know. We'll see. Hopefully, it works out. Hopefully, get like three or four people. I need to buy some beer. Well, no sour cream, only a whole freezer full of yogurt. <laughs> Mom wanted a little sour cream. I'm gonna make uh, make potatoes tonight, but she doesn't really need the sour cream. But I was like, yeah, we get a little bit because I like sour cream. It won't hurt us. We'll just do a little extra, but no sour cream. So. gonna be here that damn long. <laughs> well I got plenty of boxes so uh, it should be enough. If not they're pretty cheap. Look at that guys, I put EV. That's pretty cool. You know, I don't really keep up with the news, but I'm sensing there's, and I don't want to get into a pissing match because I don't really care much, but I'm sensing there is some kind of like a political thing with, with the e-bikes and stuff. Cause I keep, it's like some kind of liberal, they call me some kind of liberal. I don't know what it is. I'm not liberal, but I'm because I have an e-bike, but I've had a bunch of weird comments about the political divide on on that and i find it strange that we would restrict ourselves from evolving away from combustible engines like i don't understand why that would be so bad if we had alternatives but um i don't know maybe they think that they want to just totally get rid of the gasoline engine but really that son of it should have been extinct like 30 years ago you know but because of i don't know i guess some people just want to keep feeding the pockets of the <laughs> The oil commodities and the people in the Middle East I guess that that's the politically correct thing to do I don't know but I think it's exciting to have some innovation you know to have something you know because if we always continue staying with the same thing then we'll never develop into anything else if they would have allowed EV vehicles to evolve 20 30 years ago we would have been driving something completely different by now but I, like I said I get people give me shit because I'm driving a an e-scooter that has lead acid batteries and most of the battery problems have been because of um, lithium ion batteries but anyway i don't want to get into it but i just think it's so weird like i embrace the fact that we should be driving some kind of some kind of powered vehicle that we don't even recognize but we're so stuck on doing the same crap and now it's become some kind of weird political thing. I don't like people to tell me what to do, especially the news media or the government. So I guess up to you. I think it's cool that they're having that here in Thailand, but I don't think they worry too much about it here. Anyway, I'm at Lotus. I need to buy a scale, some putty to pass holes in the wall and some eggs. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Please, guys, I'm not being political. Like, I really honestly don't care. Uh, you guys can fight it out amongst yourselves.
you know, real quick, there's a lot of other countries that are cut. Don't even, let's not talk about it no more. Never mind. What page is filling up my medicine? What am I taking here? It's multiple. Multiple vitamin? Yeah. Blood pressure from, pill. Um, um, and what, fish oil or no? I'm out. My mom's got some fish oil. Yeah, the fans blowing. So what are you doing over there? Hanging out with Klaus and Thun? Eating so many No. You bored yet? Hmm? Are you bored yet? No. <laughs> Mom had a little bit too hard of a workout. She like to train with me. Maybe still sleep. Yeah. She's getting a good workout. She's feeling <laughs> better. <laughs> She's actually doing really good. I think uh, hmm? should be walking. Huh? <laughs> should be walking on her own uh, before the before she gets her stitches out. I think she's already tries to walk around. I was like, no, you can't. <laughs> so, anyway, mm -hmm. I'm like a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's it. What are you eating for dinner? I don't know. You want to eat here? I'm making you a steak. Mm. It's up to you. Okay, let's see. I bought some steaks at this grocery store. Thai beef. Right, go eat some thumb. Yeah, we gotta eat before we exercise. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, Mom, let's get healthy. The best chef I know. <laughs> Thank you. You get, you get your Heinz Better 57. than hospital food, that's for sure. Yeah, well, you haven't tried it yet. Well, I could look at it until it's delicious. <laughs> Try that carrot. That's a, that is a uh, organic... It's cooked in a little bit of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Sweet? Yes, yummy. Thank you. Well, Mom, that's Thai beef. Thai beef? Yeah. Mm. How is it? It's delicious. Is it tough? Not really. <laughs> like, what are you going to say? Damn it, it's good. I'm eating shit up. <laughs> or I scissor chop you. It's a little dark in here, but does that dog bark all night? Huh? No. He just started up now, but sometimes it's quiet. But if a fly bites, it's why he'll bark. <laughs> Sometimes it's worse. I guess they like the marking, I guess, huh? Yeah, they like that. All right, guys, going to end the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you, some of you kind of understand what's going on here in the future. But uh, we'll just play it by ear. It'll all work out one way or the other, or we'll make a different decision later. I don't know. I don't want to know. Like, I'm okay with not knowing. Like, I... We just uh, be happy, and when things don't make us happy, we just make a change, and we don't anchor in somewhere. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>